So first, you are going to go to your browser. Or actually, wait. If you want to try the easy way, just uninstall the latest update or something. But if that doesn't work, then this will most likely work. So you just look up Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. And right here. And just download it, which I already have it. So let me just go to my File Explorer and I'll get it right up. So you want to click the Media Creation Tool up here. And click Yes. Then this will show up. Then after it loads, then after this loads up, just um, you can read through this. I already have, so just accept, and then you gotta wait for this to load. Okay, now since this is loaded. Um, we want to, we want to create, install, um, uh, media, USB, flash drive, DV, DVD, or ISO file for PC. Um, so click next, and then that's the recommended settings. Put on your settings, like if you have 32-bit or 64 or both, um, Windows 10, English, or whatever language, and then I'll just do that, and then click next. And then do not click USB, click ISO. Then you click next. And once that is done installing, you select where you want it to install and then click save. I already have it installed, so I'll just show you what to do next. So once you're done installing that, you open it, which is right here, and you click setup, click yes. Then once it loads, um, you can read all this and click this if you want. Anyways, click next. Getting updates, it will it will say getting updates, then installing and all that. So just once this is done, your screen should go blue once it's all done. And then it'll basically just repair Windows and update it. That's basically what it does and fixes all updates and all that. But that should fix your problem, but that's just the thing that worked for me, but other ways that could fix it, like, click on, um, wait, go on the run command, and type in msconfig, and go to services, and then just hide all Microsoft apps, and then like this get rid of all of these uncheck all of them click apply and then okay um i already did that but uh then you restart your computer and what that basically does is gives you a fresh boot that could fix your problem but anyways i hope this video helped that that's just the method that worked for me there's plenty of other videos out there if this did not work for you and in worst case, just reset your computer, but a lot of the times it's not going to come to that.